famous IG model ruins relationship in 14 seconds. That must be record breaking. It's on both screens. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Oh, that's hard. <laughs> How you came with Valentine's? I'm like, yeah. What's your name? Uh, Scotty. Abby. Not from here? Sorry, is that a photo? <laughs> I ain't even noticed that. This guy right here, I seen your face. That's all I needed to see. I scan you. You got the default settings of of a human. You ain't at least changed the settings. So yeah, it's nothing spectacular about you. You a default skin. You a NPC. Um, doing this is crazy. You bound to get stepped out on like stepdaughters. Steve Harvey's um stepdaughter. Yeah, this is crazy. Like, look at her. She's taking advantage of you. Just know you getting cheated on, my nigga. You about to. Let's continue. These young brothers of today are just so goddamn lost. It is so sad. It's so sick. This is so ridiculous. Look. <laughs> like, Look wait a minute. Face. She looks familiar. I think this is an IG model. I've seen this IG model, hundreds of thousands of followers. And has got popular because of her hip to ass ratio. Every other photo, she's advertising for all of these dudes. So this dude must think that he has a trophy, even though she shares her body to the world. That must be why he's doing this. But let's proceed. Ah, uh, that's her. <laughs> How you came with Valentine's? I'm like, yeah. Your name? Your name? Oh my God, it's on the front and the back. Abby. From here? Uh, I'm from here. I'm from Atlanta. So you flew out too? Uh, <laughs> something like that. Yeah, so listen. Look at him. He got her on the front too. Hey, buddy. Yo ass a bitch. I'm gonna keep it a being with you. You gotta unbitch yourself if it's possible. I don't know. This ain't plausible. This is crazy. Hey, how long y'all been together? Uh, like three and a half months. Trust each other? Oh no. Three and a half months. I'm not doing this in three and a half years. I'm not doing this in six years. I'm not doing this in eight years. I'm not doing it in 12 years. I'm not doing it. Yeah, he one of those. He already getting stepped out on. That's crazy. Are we not doing that? I'm those. asking if y'all... <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> Look at him. And that's crazy because he might actually be a good guy, but they don't want the good guys. They want the toxic guys. It's their nature of how it works. You would think you're supposed to be the Prince Charming and put your coat over the puddle. What they showed you in Disney, they lied to you. You're going to be chasing her. And she's going to be chasing the one that got the fuck the bitch attitude. That's just how it works. That's how the cookie crumble. It don't make sense, but it's actuality. It's, re it's reality. It's real. <laughs> Look at that. Yes, each other. we trust each other. When y'all having problems... A picture of her on your goddamn shirt three and a half months i don't care if it was three and a half millennia putting a damn and she's caked out looking for a family-owned pest control company with techs that live and work in ohio choose plunkett's pest on the shirt nasty work where is your father, young man? Where's an <laughs> uncle in your life? What grown man in your life would... Look at Candace looking at you crazy. What grown man in their life would sanction this shit? Of course they're gonna want to sanction this. Nah, I ain't had none of that shit growing up. What he referring to? Uncles, your father, and all that. And in a way, oddly or weirdly, I'm proud of it. Proud of it. it make me way stronger. Like, I'm strong in a different way that you can't... Everything has its opposite yet equal reaction. You know how the government and everybody in cahoots that's against us and all the adversities and things we subjected to, even epigenetic tra trauma, even self-sabotaging due to how the media um, depict us and we believe it. Like, oh, we ain't shit in comparison. It shows if we going off of numbers because people that's born with a different biological makeup, born with a sentence to win to a different capacity, different numbers equal different money and all it. So we see it as just, just know everything has its opposite yet equal reaction. So whole time think the government think they doing such and such to the indigenous and Aboriginal people. It has this opposite yet equal reaction. It's like it, 
it fucks you up in a way but at the same time behind that same coin it's beyond a diamond you like a walking psychedelic and then the things you can do whatever your feel is of your outlet your art whatever it is painting rapping whatever it's like you can tell it's like no one can duplicate or replicate that or do it like you like no other and it come from everything we subjected to and just keep pushing against what's cult that's pushing us in it's like we keep going against it so you have both sides the negatives and the positives i don't know how i got there but oh yeah i ain't had none of that he talking about and it made me way stronger and but i still know better i say y'all have to say i still know better i ain't doing this what the fuck He said she got hundreds of thousands of followers. I'm not fucking with that. My girl can't have hundreds of thousands of followers. She's gonna have to have a blank prof a, a blank profile or with just one picture thing up there and that's it. Probably a highlight reel on Instagram. Kanye Instagram got your bitch. She ain't gonna have mine. It's over with. Or she ain't gonna be mine. She gonna be somewhere on the sideline. Cause this is crazy. And then advertising her goods to. All it's gonna take is somebody that's more appealing to him. He's not that appealing. Given what he's doing, this this a L. She probably think it's cute and all that, and really inside for real. Uh, nah, he's definitely getting played cock. Not only is she making money off of her genetic capabilities, but you're paying for her shit like. Nah, I like that genetic capabilities. Yeah, my girl ain't gonna be showing her genetic capabilities. You got me fucked up. I'm like the old days with um, Moses and them. Like, yeah, you gonna have to dress up like a nun, indicating them niggas ain't getting none. What the fuck? You got me fucked up. Flying her out. Then while you are hanging out, she's continuing to advertise to the men to the left and the right of you. Absolutely nasty work. You gotta grab a young man up by the collar. Come here. Come here. Stop being a bitch. She's taking advantage of you, my son. She will not respect you. It's too far gone for this guy. He Look at her body language. A picture says a thousand words. She don't. First sign of or she even get tired of boy with him a little bit. I'm telling you, she gonna really toss him around like. Tall bitch ass nigga. Nah, let's continue, man. He's gone too simpy and put her too much on a pedestal. There is no coming back for this. This is a short amount of time in this relationship. Yeah. I hope he knows that. Who you talk to? My best friend and my sister. Okay, and when you having problems, who you talk to? When you have problems with your girl? Fire myself. What's your name again? Scotty. If you was to call her and be like, guess who told me you have a Valentine? She'd say Scotty. Yeah, 100%. For sure, 100%. For sure. Yeah, you want me to do it? Would it be no other guy? No, there wouldn't say? even be a question. <laughs> Nia, guess who took me out for Valentine's Day? Guess who I'm with? I don't okay, I think. Oh! What? Wait, I'm sorry. I'm New York right now. Who am I with? A picture says a thousand words. This like the span, a time lapse of a gift, and you seeing it in real time. You can her body language, her aura. She thinks she got this. What her girl and her girl must have say, nah, nah, that's it. That's it. It's green. <laughs> it's green. This crazy. Oh man. You're gonna have to learn somehow. You don't get wise. You don't learn from getting older. I used to think that you wise and learn from going through adversities and pain, mental anguish, turmoil. Some guys never learn shit. I ain't even about to say, oh, he gonna learn. Some don't learn at all. It is what it is, but. You gotta do all that. Daddy. Whoa! Whoa. 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 I ain't gonna lie, that was shaky. You, you had to say New York. Hang on, hang on. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Somebody send this young man my number. Get him in the empty army. Cause he seems like he's a nice young man. He's just confused. He's just law. He know not what of he do. Damn it, man. She got to you. The serpent woman got to you quick. <laughs> you more susceptible to that for sure. If you just raised by your mother, um, 
you susceptible to that if you don't have your father as well you susceptible to it if you have your father and he a bitch and he doing whatever else to keep your mommy happy and she still doing whatever else and she don't want to run the house and uh that's, that's crazy you gotta get it together <laughs> And she's got you confused. She's beating your masculinity down into Terrible. complete and utter submission. And she's dating other guys. And the best friend corroborated the situation. But you over here walking around with a picture of her on the front and the back of you while she's caked out. Scotty! No! Absolutely nasty work! <laughs> Scotty is learning a very valuable lesson, and I want all the men of here to learn this lesson on the back of Scotty. If you treat them like a star, they will treat you like a Man, first off, you shouldn't be taking these chicks with these crazy wild Instagram accounts. That chick wakes up in the morning and just gets dicks, eggplants just shoved in her face in picture form, smacking her all up in the face. And she makes money from it. Leave these chicks to the streets from where they came. That's first off. Scotty more than likely came from a good family and he's you a young like man it. wanting a good woman. These are the type of young brothers that will get married early. They fall deep in love and then they get turned yeah, my guy, you right here, whatever your name is, you should have been born in the days with the temptations. Baby to my paradise. You should have been, who, who, who? You should have been brought in them days, because this is crazy. It's over. It ain't nothing but thoughts out here. You go from that, the temptations, to y'all bitches some hoes anyway. You got to sing it like Drake, you know? We in a whole different era. You getting stepped out on like stepdaughters for real. You gonna learn. Nigga, you gonna die. <laughs> He gonna learn. Turn into a complete underdog and a savage after they realize the nature of modern women today. Stay within your purpose, young king. And if you don't have a purpose, find a purpose. I'd be a lot more happy to see if you had something that had to do with your purpose as a representative on your shirt, not your girl. Your girl is not your end all and a damn sure will not be your be all. And in fact, behavior like this makes them resent you because it's not masculine behavior. You are the leader. I don't care how insignificant that you may feel or how valuable that you may feel on her Instagram account, on her likes and all these dudes that are putting heart eyes and emojis down into her comment section. You need to represent yourself as the leader. This is not leader behavior and the results within this video demonstrate that. Godspeed to this young man or I wish you nothing but the best. If I wanted to take you on a first date, would Pizza Hut be okay? It depends. What would it depend on? How much I like you. It would depend. So for the guys who you like the least amount, where would you want them to take you? Like a five-star steakhouse. And the guys you like the most, where would you go with them? I would probably expect less, just because I like them. But why make the man that you like the least amount invest more up front than the guys who you're more attracted to? Because he's got to work for it. Since I like him the least amount, he's got to work for it. Uh, I, at least I'm giving him a chance. Hi, That's facts. We're visible. We're the wireless company with nothing to hide. Seriously. Hidden fees? You're the prize in a relationship. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Why wouldn't we be? But the more attractive guy, he's a prize to you. Uh, Not really. They're never a prize. No. I believe the woman's always a prize. Man should work for a woman. And what should a woman do for a man? Uh, That's where I stop you right, right at, Lilith. You got me fucked up. What? Hold on. Let me tap into the Akashic Records real quick. How I go off of. How can I break this down? How I go off of rarity is I'm rare. It's no word to describe me. I'm unutterable for I exist as an entity in lanes which transcends all material words or symbols. All I know and what I know and then the other attributes. I'm tall. I, I look good. I underwent neuroplasticity. Epigenetic trauma rewritten my DNA. 
Unlocking my triple helix. Unlocking my doormat DNA. My skin been crystallizing since two winter solstice ago. I unlocked my mind get your shotting gun. I got my life skills. I beat your ass. I'm striving to be my James Bond self. My Keanu Reeves, John Wick self. My Denzel from the Book of Eli. I'm creative as fuck. I'm a jack of all trades. Soon to be an ascended master. Acquired the Philosopher's Stone. I got all the attributes. Bitch, y'all default skins. I seen the billion of these. You ain't seen one of these. and You only seen one. It's only one. It's me and that's it. So I, that's how I, I go off of rarity. Is you more rare, rare or am I more rare? That's facts. That's how, that's how I... That's how the cookie crumble. That's how I go about it. She can be bad. She can be Kim K or whatever. Either way, it's a thousand yous. It's only one of me. Knowing what I know, what I bring to the damn the table, I bring domain expansion, the infinite domain. That's how you, what DJ Academic said, I'm, treat me like I'm Drake. You got me fucked up. I'm the prize. That's how I determine rarity or if I look better than the female. And that's real. That's a real thing. Some females ugly as fuck. I look good as fuck. I do look better than bitches out there. I, I'm being honest. Like, why would you want to? I'm just saying. I told a few hoes that before. and it, it, I'm, it's, it's the truth. It's how I choose rarity is, is do you have a better chance of find, finding me or do I have a better chance finding you? You're, you're everywhere. It ain't nothing special about you. Literally. Talentless. Used. Goods. <laughs> Had to take the headphones off of that. I'm, t I'm on my iPad and shit. You can't see it, but it's there. I can see more than 1% of the electromagnetic spectrum. <laughs> Fuck wrong with the... Uh, I'm about to end the video. <laughs> That's Care. a good question. Care and love. Yes. Like, offer support and love. Have you dated Korean guys? Yes and no. I didn't date them. I did have one night stands with them. How was the experience? It fell short. <laughs> what do you mean it was short? Like physically or time-wise? Everything. <laughs> Why? Why? What happened? Well, that's the question I should ask you. You're a Korean guy. What happens? Because the Japanese don't have that problem that much. Wait, but what was the sample size for a mm -hmm. Korean, Korean people? Okay, the data pool actually that I collected for Korean guys is less than the ones from Japanese guys. Well, I cannot say the complete conclusion yet, but from what I have gathered um, for now, the Japanese are actually also in length and in length of time, endurance and stamina and actually also creativity to be honest. They're the best. Oh yeah, they're creative. Like you guys have missionary, they have everything else from the Catholic Church to Buddhism. <laughs> can, can you share the number of guys? Like you have In one them. year I f***ed about 40 Japanese guys, I f***ed about 10 Korean guys. So there's quite many. And they're all short? So are you in a relationship? No. Nope. Her player bill was terrible. Ooh. When the last time you were in a relationship? Actually, I, I am in a relationship. I'll say this point. So you're lying? Nah, I, I just had to think about it. I, so you are in a relationship. How long have you been together? Um, it's complicated. We, we've been on and off for like 10, 15 years maybe, but got really serious the past few months. So is, is, is this a woman that you think that it's not a woman. Nah. It's a man? Yeah. So you're gay? God. No, no, no. So you're in a relationship with a man, but you're not gay? Yeah, this man isn't isn't on earth right now, though. Oh, with God? It's our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, okay. brother. Okay. Woo! <laughs> okay. You trolled me. Okay. <laughs> yeah, boy. Are you ladies single? No, we're bad bitches. I'm married, but we're open. How'd you get your husband to agree to that? It was his idea. Open on both your sides or just his? Yeah, it was open on both of our sides. We decided, we came together and talked and agreed that we both can't give each other the full experience of what we'd like. So we're both dating around and we're having a very, it's very healthy and very good. What boundaries do you have if you're comfortably sleeping with other people on both sides? Uh, the only boundary that we have is pretty much just wear a condom all the time and make sure you come home at the end of the night. 
Um, other than that, we like to meet each other's partners just to make sure that everything's like, they're treating them right, everything's cool, but that's it. We've been together for five years. So let's say I wanted to experience this with you. What would the process look like? We have to be talking for a month before we sleep together. You have to meet my husband. They have to kind of approve, nice. and that's it. Does he watch during the act, or? No. But he can. He can if he wants to, but he usually doesn't want to. I accidentally drove to a Chinese restaurant instead of my gym. <laughs> I realized my mistake after I ordered so I couldn't leave. <laughs> I only wanted a bite. <laughs> but the food was so good I ate it all. <laughs> I can't wait to go back to my gym. What? What is happening? Are you single? Yes. If you fat, stop what you doing. Get your big goofy ass in the gym, bro. The fuck is wrong with you, dog? I wonder, do we got fat aliens at this motherfucker? Cause I know they got a higher brain capacity. They neural pathways and they synapses sparking. And nothing but negativity come with that fat shit. Your deterioration and decline in your health, etc. You look stupid, big ass EDP shirts. Like, I don't know. I'm aware of myself. I'm aware of others and shit. Even my internal, my conscious sometimes, it don't even be on the same accord as myself. I'll be damned if I'm like, he talking shit about me. Like, you fat and ugly as fuck. They think I'm fat and ugly as fuck. I think the same thing. I don't, shit, that's how I look. Some people don't care. I don't have no internal dialogue. I could have sworn. Every time I'm outside, I'm doing me. Niggas are spawning behind me. It's like they feel her. They just right there for me to see them, but they don't exist for real. And they don't even know it. It's crazy. Let's continue. Why haven't you committed to a guy yet? Uh, because he jumped on my windshield when I was driving away and broke my fucking windshield. I sent him to jail. Air tag, like... All this shit. Is this your ex or what? Yeah. How long were you together? Uh, nine, eight months. What led up to that happening? He got jealous because like I can do kind of like whatever I want and I kind of have the mentality of like I'm my own person, like I can do it, I have my own life and shit, you know? And so like he got mad at that basically. So what does he get in return for doing? Is that him? Yo, wait, are we, can we both get in this hole? You just ruined the whole thing. Bro, my bad, bro. Hey! That's the motherfucker that got me. Yo, this is absolutely nasty work. Hold on, let's watch this part real quick. Look at her body language. She doesn't want to hug you, my G. Why do you not see them signs? She turns away and like, she's getting ready to run away. If you are not autistic and you cannot recognize these cues, I mean, she's not even hugging you back, my G. She's trying to walk around you. Her feet are away from you. She is not enjoying this interaction whatsoever. And then he comes back. He walks back in it as she's trying to laugh it off and trying to insert himself within the conversation that he She gonna end up in his deep freezer. Just messed up. This is absolutely nasty work. And this is also a case for stopping drinking whatsoever. Cause drinking for some people reduces your ability to interpret social cues. And it's clear here that he interpreted none of the social cues. But dudes like this give dudes everywhere a bad name. Jumping on a woman's car that is breaking up with you, if she's telling the truth, should not be anything that a masculine man undertakes in his repertoire of masculinity. That is some weak, simp, feminine ass shit. You kick and scream and cry like a baby when you're unable to get your way. Pathetic. <laughs> That's it for this video, a reaction of a reaction video. That was straight. Send me what's next, what you want me to react to, it have to make sense. Don't forget to like the video if you like the video. Comment, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications, DM me the link via X. Formerly known as Twitter, let me know what you want me to react to next or what you want me to talk about. Follow me on Twitch, Kick and Rumble. Before we start rumbling. I kick your ass and you end up twitching. I'll see you on the next video, man. I'm out.